Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with day number four, the first seven days of patch point 13 here in Escape from Tarkov. As always, make sure you guys are dropping a like, and of course, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. All right, yesterday's video took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I think it was over 10 minutes. Let me turn that volume down so you guys don't hear clicking in the background of my voice. Uh, the video ran a little long. It was like 10 minutes, so I'm going to try and make up for that here today. So starting with the stash, we'll actually do the docs case and the insurance first because I'm most likely to forget about those. A lot of insurance still. All right, so let's hop into the stash. I don't want to miss any cases at all, so we'll start right here. Now, I think we only added one new case since yesterday. Honestly, I've been playing. It's just like I haven't been grinding like day one. Like day one, I was absolutely grinding items only. Wasn't doing any PvP, wasn't doing any task, nothing. Um, basically... I've pretty much just done task in PvP today. I mean, I really haven't done much else. And, um, yeah, we really don't have that much more progress. I mean, uh, Rubles are up to 7.5 mil. I think they were at, like, 6 mil yesterday. So, you know, what am I up? 1.5 mil. So, nothing crazy. I don't even think there's anything in that one. Nope. It's all empty space. So, going to overall... Uh, I saw my first cheater today. His name was XX Big Bird XX, and I thought the funniest part was if you go to my Twitter, you can see it. I'm not gonna put it on screen because it's not really that important. But I just did a search for this guy's name on Twitter because sometimes people will bitch about cheaters and they enter the username in. And I found one tweet from 2016. This guy was cheating on Minecraft. He was flying around in a server. Now, uh, what is it? Nine years later. This guy's cheating on Tarkov. Like, that's a progression arc if I have ever seen one. So, uh, I've only died one other really sus time. So, you know, you're still batting that 1% to 2% of raids. You're going to have a cheater in there. That doesn't mean they're going to kill you. But usually it's about a 1% chance of a cheater being in your raids. It's just how it is. There's just, it's the law of averages. You're going to have one eventually. And I happened to die by one. It was blatantly obvious. I mean, literally, he rounded the corner, one-tapped me, never even saw me. Um, I heard him. I was pre-aiming. I was literally camping. I'm not even going to lie. I was being a rat. And um, I was getting ready to ambush him. And he just one-tapped me in the face with a BP suppressed SKS. Um, and I, that was it. I mean, it was cheating. It was blatantly obvious. So, uh, like I said, I looked up his name. This dude was cheating in Minecraft nine years ago. It's incredible. So, here's the rest of the stats. I said I wasn't going to fucking ramble, and there we went. But uh, there is the rest of the stats. I really don't think we did that much here. Like, you could look at yesterday's raids compared to this raid. I don't have my scav stats, though. Um, I've been doing a lot of scavs. We did gear. Let's do our skills. Endurance 9, strength 7. See, I think that's relatively close to what it was yesterday. Still haven't even tried streets. We're going to get there eventually. I'm just trying to uh, get a little bit of the money making out of the way early. While everything's still pretty cheap. Then our task. We did a couple Tarkov shooters. We did a couple tasks. We have a couple dailies that we need to get done. Trader rep. We're at fence 1.66. Uh, we got proper to 2. I think we didn't have him at 2 yesterday. Uh, we still didn't do skier yet. And mechanic is level 20. So we'll get that eventually uh, very shortly. As for the hideout, which has been very annoying, if I got to be honest, we have uh, no fuel, just because I've been neglecting it. The defective wall, um, I have come across the sledgehammer four different times, and either I have not had a big enough backpack, or I have died with it. So, you know, not, not fun, and my penalties right now are absolutely insane. I... I don't really like this to be honest with you but it is what it is and um yeah this is definitely like killing me i mean <laughs> literally uh the xp alone sucks ass getting six percent less every raid i don't know if we upgraded really anything maybe like one thing got installed like lav 2 maybe if we didn't have that yesterday but not a lot of progress once again um i'm probably just gonna take it easy today as well i'm not really in the grinding mood to be on interchange for another you know however many hours but i definitely get some more stuff done for sure. Uh, we're probably going to keep grinding out this operational task that literally there's no reason to. 
Uh, but I just wanted to get it done, and I tried three factory raids and only got two kills on scavs. Uh, one of the raids was uh, fucking the cheater, and then the other one's just no scavs responding. I don't know if factory's bugged or what, but I used to be getting 20-plus kills on scavs just all piling up in factory, and I literally it's dead. I run around the map for 15 minutes, and either they all die to PMCs or, you know, it's just a dead lobby. I don't know. Uh, it is what it is. I don't think we missed anything, but if I did, I'm sorry. We're going to get you out of here. Uh, five minutes, you know, way better than 10. So I do apologize uh, for the long video yesterday, but on to day number five tomorrow. And then, of course, content after the first seven days, uh, resuming popular series like Rap Money and doing a whole bunch of other stuff for you guys. So make sure you drop that like, subscribe, sponsor, equipment in the description below. That's going to be it. Thank you for stopping by. I'm out.